All right, here we are at one of our team practices. We're about to start uh, Team Blue versus Team Red in 20 seconds. And we've got Miles for Team Blue number one. Oh, we just lost 10. 10 was Sal. Sal got kicked out. Um, hopefully he'll come back. And uh, the match is starting. No, they're going to start without Sal. Let me tell him. And if you get kicked out of the game, just come right back in. I'll put you back on your team. All right, Sal, so get back in as soon as you can. All right, and they've started. I should say, and they're off. All right, so we got Miles. Oh, he joined. Team Force 10 goes on Team Blue. Ha, ha, there, he didn't miss much. So that's Sal, number 10. Number 6 is Izzy. Number eight is Adrian, and number 12 is Trent. And then in Team Red, we've got four is Evelyn, seven is Rosie, nine is Aiden, 13 is Deacon, and 14 is Jackson. So here we go again. And these are our teams that I've signed up for the Comp MC Spring League. Uh, so they're practicing in the actual teams they're going to be playing in. This is so exciting. Uh, First time we've got it to work this way, where the teams are together, actually practicing together. And everybody has made it to two meetings in a row. I'm not used to that. You guys are doing awesome. So there we had, somebody just fell off the world here. We see Team Red is setting up their defense so that uh, Team Blue doesn't get into their wool room and take their lime wool. So Team Red has to bridge Across these gaps. Ooh, is that a team no, blue? No, it's already oh, there. Oh, but there's a red defender. That's Jackson taking on Adrian. Good defense there. Don't let them sneak past you. Because then they can get in. Uh, so, yeah, so blue. Adrian there is trying to get into the lime wool room to get some lime wool. And bringing it all the way back to their base will get them the win. It's best two out of three matches. Here we have another blue. Looks like Trent. Ooh, and Trent just took out Aiden. But he's got two other... Oh, and another blue, a red fell off the world. So Trent just has one more to go up against. But who he's going up against has some armor. And he took out Trent. And that was Evelyn. Well done, Evelyn. Yeah, if you got the gold armor, you got a, uh, an advantage over somebody with their leather. Here we got two blues taking on one red. Whoa, who's that? He's moving fast. He's coming in and he's taking on the red defender. So we've got ten. That is Sal taking... A oh, and he just knocked him off the world. He knocked Deacon. Uh, nope, he knocked Jackson off the world. There he goes again. Oh, he's got two defenders. Oh, oh, they got him. They took care of Sal. Whoa, look at that long distance shooting. So this team blue tends to rush really fast, putting uh, the other team on the defensive. I think that's a pretty good strategy. You want to control the center and move so that they're busy defending and not uh, coming after your wool. No, no, the wool. I'm too late. So I got a Google Meet uh, in the background the where they can strategize. And the nice thing is uh, Team they're Red, they're yeah. at Deacon's house. So they are so lucky. They get to play together and talk together right next to each other. It's really nice that they were able to join this club all together. So I hope you guys are... Having a good time here, Team Red. Ooh, who was that? Uh, that was Deacon got Adrian. And looks like Sal got uh, Jackson. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh. <laughs> so for Team Blue, since they're each in different homes... Uh, I've got the Google Meet open, and they can talk using Google Meet. 
which is very nice. It's really hard when I had both teams trying to talk and strategize while they're listening to each other, so this works so much better. Minecraft 6, so that is easy. What's easy doing? Minecraft 8 joined the game, and Minecraft 8 goes in. Team Blue. That must be frustrating to get kicked off the server and then have to get back on. We've got everybody back. Oh, Izzy got killed, and now she's back. So when you get killed, you end up going all the way back here. You spawn at this point. By the way, this is also where you bring the uh, enemy wool. If you can place it there before they place yours in their area, you win the game. And they have all sorts of ways to keep it from tying. So there is Rosie building up a defense. Ooh, but somebody's coming really fast. It's Sal. Sal's been rushing fast. Now, where's he going? Does he know he has to go into the war room? Ooh, it was Minecraft 10. That is Sal. If Sal knows where to go or what to do. No, 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 Who's that? Oh, somebody's here. That's Sal. Sal, he's coming in. Did he make it? Whoa. There he is. Sal is making his way. Come on, Sal. Get in there. If he can... Oh, he got killed. So if he would have gone, so here's what you need to do. You want to go down here. Once you get here, the other team can't get into their own room. So you are set once you're in here. Um, and then you grab some wool right there. Grab a bunch, because if you get killed on the way to your um, area, you want to drop wool everywhere. Because the closer you get it to yours, it just keeps it from tying the game. And then you get some armor and some golden apples to get your health back. And I get to go through this because I'm an observer. I think you guys actually have to um, destroy it. But red is there defending. Ooh, somebody just knocked a red. That's Sal again. Yeah, ooh, nice. Yeah, there were a lot of red defenders there, Sal. Good aggressive gameplay. But yeah, if you guys got there together, so there's Izzy. Come on, Izzy. Oh no, Red. Red has been defending real well. They've kept the blues from getting into their wool room. Getting better from last week. I wonder if any of the reds have rushed the purple wool room of the blue. Whoa, look what blue team has set up. So what they do here is they make barriers to slow down the rusher. Um, and if you give them blocks of different types, one tool might break one block easier than another. So they either have to switch tools or uh, slow down their advance. But the goal is to get in here and get the wool. The hard part is getting out without getting killed because they're gonna be right there trying to keep you from getting out. The good thing is you got all the time. Uh, you can take your time until the clock runs out because they can't enter their own wool room. That was pretty cool. I like the way they did that. So I don't know if any red rushers have made it to the purple wool room of blue team. But I know there's been a lot of action going on over in the red wool room. Look at that! Wow! Red dominated the center there. And uh, Jackson's by himself now. I have the biggest brain in the world. <laughs> Blue got in! That's Trent! Oh, and another Blue got killed over there. That was Sal. Oh, yeah, because now Blue's going to have to help Trent to get out. Somehow. They got to come over here. But right now, okay. If nothing else happens, since Trent got into uh, the red 
Lime Wool side. Room. They are ahead. Oh, if the I clock ends right now, I'll Blue wins. Now, if they want to win before the clock runs out, Trent will have to get out, get out of there. Wow. Trent somehow got Deacon. He's probably shooting arrows from in there. Uh, so, yeah, now, uh, if Trent can get all the way back to his side, which he's done before, he can place the lime wool and win it for blue. What just happened? Blue won. How did he do that? I didn't even see him get out. That was fantastic. Way to go. Wow, I didn't even see you leave, Trent. Nice. And Sal, do you know where to go? Because it looks like you were heading towards the wool room. Is he, uh, is he in Trent? Can you, uh, be defense? Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, because Trent's been doing great in offense. He's capped the wool a couple of times yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, Sal and Trent and I can be offense, but then, uh, Adrian and Izzy can be Okay, so what map should we do next? Um, Alright. So they want to go to Din Drought. Let's get there right now. Alright. Uh, let's slow down the start. Because whenever I don't do that, the game starts right away and I haven't even made the teams! It's oh, right. annoying. Really, really good, uh, uh, ten and nine. Let's move nine to team yeah. red. Really good job of keeping us, um, away from the yeah, All right, so we've got nine and fourteen in team red, and I'll keep them in red so I don't get confused because I get confused easily. Okay, so now we need four in team red. And we need seven in team red, right? Yeah. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. Team red is done. So I've got ten in team blue, so I need one. So let's do eight in team blue. And six in team blue, so who's left? I got one, ten, six, eight, and eight, twelve in team blue. Alright, I think I got you guys in your teams. Alright, we got a 25 second countdown. Good luck. Play hard. All right, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha, the second match of our practice. This is so much fun. I love just watching. It's so stressful to play. All right, so we got 1, 10, 6, 8, 12, 4, 7, 9, 13, 14. All right, the game is about to start. So this is Golden Drought. Who really should play the other maps? All right, who is that? I do believe, yeah, look at Team Blue. Their rushers do not waste any time. Like oh, we got some red. South. There we go. Uh, Whoa, they're coming from two uh, sides. Look at the bridging. The They've gotten fast. Or, this is great, you guys. Oh, whoa. Whoa, you did that right under me. I didn't even see you. Blue's got four rushing. That's bold. Looks like they took care of red over there. That was Aiden. Aiden tried to stop them. But, uh, man, they've got four rushing. What in the world? This is crazy. It's like a blitz. Oh, who fell off the world? Now it's three. Oh, my gosh, dude. They it was so Trent. Cool. Oh, my gosh. All right, yeah, just get the ball. They, okay, um, I think they spent most Whoa, they just walked in. Uh, team Red was caught unawares. Yeah, Team Red, we got beat like that one time in the fall. Uh, 
We just started off slowly, and they just snuck in and got it. And there you go. Miles has got the purple wool. So now you got to watch out for that. Some teams just start off fast, and they rush. That's what blue team just did. They rushed you with four people right off the bat. Yeah, so now Miles is stuck in their wool room, and the entire red team is there. Okay, and who did they leave behind to protect or defend? It is Izzy. All right, Izzy, watch out there. Make sure you keep your eyes open, because if they sneak past you, they'll just fall in there and they'll be in. Especially since they left Izzy all by herself. But I think that's a good move right now, because right now your job is to get Miles out. And four of the five reds are there, and the other one's like, was right behind me. Oh, look, is that one of the reds? Okay, it looks like the reds are taking a chance to go over to the blue side, because they've figured out everybody's over here. All right, so now you need to defend. All right, good. Izzy's, Izzy's got some help. There we go. Come on, Izzy. Help him. Ooh, ooh, there's one left. All right. Does he have apples? All right, let's go. Because he's got armor and Izzy doesn't. Okay, there's another blue. And that is Jackson. Jackson is rushing. Do you see him, Izzy? Izzy! Oh, he knocked her off. Jackson could get into the wool room. There he goes. Come on, Jackson. There he, he's in. All right, now we've got a tie game. Now it gets exciting. Well done, Jackson. Alright, does blue know? Uh -huh. Alright, he's got the green wool. Now it's who's going to get out and who's going to get their wool the farthest. So if you get killed before you reach your... Oh, ooh, what? How'd you do that? I didn't even see it. Wow. Alright, I didn't even see that. That's true. <laughs> Alright, what map do you want next? Let's do something we've never done. How about Terra Cruz? Because I saw them playing Terra Cruz in the grand finale. Alright, let's try it. SN Terra I did spell it right. Whoa. I did not know that's how you spell it. There, this map we don't play very often. I don't remember the last time we played. So that should be exciting for everyone. Oh, look at it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so we haven't had much experience with this one. So both teams should be starting out fresh. All right, so we got Minecraft 10 should be on Team Blue. So we got nobody on red and nine. Let's move nine over to red. Nine's on red. Okay, so we got nine on red. So one goes on blue. Um, ten goes on blue. Six goes on blue. So let's do four on red. Four on red. Um, did I do six on blue? All right, excellent. And then let's do seven on red. And then eight. On blue, twelve. On blue, thirteen. 
on red and 14 on I forgot to write red okay so we got Miles, Sal, Izzy, Adrian, and Trent and then we've got I think I'm ready I think this is good all right teams are ready we're gonna start in 20 Yeah, we got 13 is Deacon, 14 is Jackson, 9 is Aiden, 7 is Rosie, 4 is Evelyn. Looking good. Yeah, I don't even know this map. I don't think I've uh, observed from this one. So we got green, wool, red is going for the green, blue is going for cyan. Whoa. Okay, there it goes blue. Look at that. Blue's already out. And this must be what they defend. Oh, look at that. So they got to go upstairs. And then, oh, how do you get in there? They're going to have to break their way in. Wow. And then where do they place the wool? They start. Oh, this is one where you got to go in. They go in here. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this place. Very nice. Place the cyan wool here. All right. Let's go back and see. The bridging is so hard. And look at it. They've gotten really good, you guys. You're doing great with the bridging. You're fast. It's going to give you an advantage. I noticed blue, you're not getting armor. That's interesting. And red has been. Now let's see what we're going to get here. So we got red versus blue. Ooh, good one. Wow, wow. They're outnumbered there. Red's been... Uh, they're all defending. There's four of them there. I don't know where the fifth one is. Yeah, and I've missed two... Ooh, look, all five of them are there. Oh, my goodness. Are they? I guess so. They got two rushing here. So they're trying to protect. Is that armor leggings? Yeah, some armor is good. <laughs> okay. Got some blue. Oh, 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 oh. You're, you got two defenders there. Oh, oh, you're gonna fall. There he goes. All right, good defense. Where do you have to go? Yeah, you can't go this way. I see. I know, they got to figure out the map. All right, they got to go this way. And their red is building their blockade to slow down the blue team. What? Oh, arrows being shot. Hey, yeah, you got three defenders there. Evelyn Deacon and Rosie defending for red. And that looks like Trent rushing for blue. So blue, if you go on that side, that doesn't help because you got to make your way this way. This looks like the only way up to the wool room. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Wow, did he win? Yeah, he won that battle. Wow. Well done, Trent. And then who we got there? Oh, 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 Evelyn and Trent. <laughs> oh, he won again. Oh, is, is he alone? Is he going to get in? Oh, Red. He's in there. Now what do you have to do to get in? What do you do? Where do you go? Really? This way? You gotta break in, I think. I don't know. He doesn't know how to get in. Neither do I. Sorry, Trent. I can't. I don't know. I think you have to break in. Look at this. This looks like you have to break in to get in there. There's no other way. Good, this was a good map to play because we're both even. No, nobody knows how to get in. 
but he's had, he's had all this time. Red, where are you? There he goes. He's in. Trent found the way in. There we go. There, look at him. He's got his armor on. He's got golden apples. He's got the cyan wool, and he's trying to get out. Uh-oh. Yeah, now they see you. Ooh, what's he gonna do? Back in here, you're safe. That's as far as the red team can get. They can't come in here. So Trent needs help from his teammates. Oh, oh. Sorry. Whoa, look at him. They're shooting arrows at him, and he's ducking. This is awesome. I get to see what's happening. Yeah, Trent's got to hide in there, regain his health by eating golden apples. Oh, man, he's brave. He just ran out there. Oh, he died. That was wild. I would have been scared to go out, especially with all those red defenders there. Right, Red? Okay, there comes Blue going on that other side. So if they go this way, Blue, on Terra Cruz, and I'm just saying, this was the one of the maps they used for the grand finale. Well, if you go up there, what good does that do? You want to go that way, don't you? Can you get there this way? Yeah. That's what we got to figure out, is going this way doesn't get you there. Look. That doesn't do anything, so on Terra Cruz, you do not want to go this side. And then for the green wool room, you want to come in. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. They've got some good defenses up here because you want to come in this way. This is the side you want to go. So this side is the side to get in both. This side is the side to come back to win. That's an interesting layout. So this side does you no good. Let's see how Red has got their defenses. How do you get up there? All right, let me try. Okay, so if I go up here... Go, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. They climb up this way. I mean, that took me a while, and then I'm stuck here. So yeah, nice job there making it hard to get up there. Whoa, there's another blue in there. Is that Adrian? Adrian's in there. Red, did you? I don't even know how Adrian got in there. Whoa, how do you get up there? What are you doing up there? That's cool. He's coming in. He's coming in for the win. All right. Oh, there's some red. Got to get around them. But red is needing some. Whoa, he's fighting. Oh, well done there. All right. He's coming in for the win. He's coming in. He's coming in for the win. You gonna place it? Come on. There he goes. He won that. Nice. Okay, that time I saw it. I followed you all the way in. That was awesome. So I got that on our live stream on Twitch. I love it when we can see the wool being placed. You sure can. Okay. What map do you want to do next? Uh, no, no,
There we go. Okay, so let's put Miles in blue. Let's put Sal in blue. Let's put Evelyn in red. Let's put Izzy in blue. Let's put Adrian in blue. Let's put Aiden in red. Let's put Trent in blue. Ah. Darn! They got me. Let's put... Boy, that started without me. I forgot to do it. One, two, three, four. I forgot. Sorry about that, Team Red. I was too slow. I forgot to slow down the start time. I always forget that at least once. Okay, well, at least now we've got both teams correct. Woo! That was... Uh, I always... Forget that at least once. Wow, look at this place. Wow. We got nice, uh, those are towers. What have we here? Oh, I see blue and red. Whoa! Blue has made their way fast. Are they already on the red side? All right, so what's down here? This must be where you bring in your wool. <laughs> Sorry about that. This must be where they bring in their wool. Oh yeah, place wool here. So that's where they respawn. That's where they place their wool. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Deacon. Nice to see you. All right, what are we doing here? So where do you go? Let's see what happens when we go up here. Because I don't know. Okay, so there are you guys. Okay, so it looks like that's what you're protecting. You're defending this, Team Red. How do you get up there? Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, so they're going to go in here. They're going to go in here. And then they've got some ladders, so they can go up here. I mean, it's kind of nice when you're in there. I mean, I know you've got the pressure to get out and win it for your team, but it's nice to have a little bit of breathing time where the other team can't kill you. Whoa, look at this. This is pretty elaborate. I'm just uh, amazed by the people who put the time together to make these... Amazing, cool, fun worlds for kids to play in. Well, kids. Kids of all ages. <laughs> all right, can we go up? There we go. Where am I? Whoa, look at this. What is in here? Ooh, a Power One Infinity Bow. Looks cool. Whoa, look where I am. <gasps> so that's how you get... Really? I got there? I thought I was up there. So that, whoa, there's a blue already there? They've already got in! Dude, I missed it. Okay, so this is Miles, and did Miles... Who grabbed the wool? Green wool was picked up by Miles, so Miles got the wool. He's helping his team. So now how is he going to get out? If you jump from there, you're gonna die. If you can't jump from there, what do you do? Let's see, take a look around here. So you're gonna have to go back down. All right, let's see where they, what they're going to do here. So, Red, are you making your way over there because you got Miles there. He's kind of trapped. He's way up there. And um, if you head over to their room, you probably want to get them as they're coming over to help Miles.
Uh oh, there's a bunch of reds. There's some blue. Looks like this is the place where a battle will ensue. Whoa, he jumped. How'd you get there? Did he survive? I mean, does he have health? Uh, I can't tell what his health is, but look, he's got that armor. Diamond chest plate. Whoa, he's got that cool power infinity bow. No, where'd you go? Okay, he's got golden apple. Oh, look at that. He's Oh, oh he's got some help. What are you going to do? Whoa, Red got the purple wool. <gasps> now we've got a race. Who's going to get the wool farthest? All right, who's got it for Red? All right, so Red was picked up by Aiden. Aiden, you've done this before. Oh, that would suck. Losing your armor after spending all that time making it. So where is Aiden? Is that him? So I gotta keep my eye on Aiden and Miles because they're the two who can win it right now. Who is that? Oh my God. Is that Miles? Right here, that is Miles. Oh, Red sees him. You gotta stop him, or else he's gonna win it. Oh, did you knock him off the world? Yep, he was knocked out of the world by Jackson. Well done there. I don't know if you placed the wool, Miles, but if you didn't. Now I gotta find Aiden. Who, who, did, who did that? Wow, that was cool. All right, well, those were some great games, good practice. Um, I'm going to uh, sign out of the Google Meet so I can watch the uh, NASEF Rube Goldberg machine Twitch. Uh, but if you guys wanna stay on, you can. I'll leave, you know, the, the server will be open as long as somebody's on it. So, does anybody want to stay on? Alright, yeah, good idea. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I'll put it in um, your class craft message. Alright. Alright, Miles, I'll give you up in case you got enough people to play. Okay. Yeah, I'm awesome. Okay. There. Alright guys, great plan. I'll see um some of you tomorrow or Friday. Okay. Alright. Bye bye. See ya.
intentionally delightful waste of time and energy. Here's a typical example of what I mean.
and soon to be, <laughs> soon to be game design and development teacher at a middle school and a high school in New Jersey. So um, psyched to be here uh, for the big film. So thanks so much. Jennifer. Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer George. I am the legacy director at Ruth Goldberg Inc. It's really just a fancy way of uh, saying I'm Ruth's granddaughter. Um, all things Ruth Goldberg uh, tend to pass by that incredibly cluttered table behind me. Uh, everyone else looks like they're in such neat and uh, organized places, but I, I am not. Just that's, that's my DNA right there. Um, so I'm very happy to be here for the big build. We cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. And Steve. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Steve Isaacs. I, uh, uh, for about another week, I teach game design and development at the middle and high school, and I'm, I'm passing the baton to Kathy as I'm about to uh, make a little bit of a life change and head to Epic Games as their education program manager, which I'm super excited about. Um, and uh, with regards to the Ruth Goldberg stuff, I my students have been creating Ruth Goldberg um, machines in Minecraft and Fortnite Creative uh, for some time, and I always share them on social media. And that got me to talking to, to Jennifer and others at the Ruth Goldberg Foundation, and they reached out with this idea that they wanted to do something big and digital um, with Ruth Goldberg and Minecraft. And I guess that was about a year ago, and here we are. So it's very exciting, and I'm really excited to get to this point where we can launch the big build challenge and see what everybody comes up with. Hi everyone, uh, Eric Leitner, uh, STEM and Computer Science Instructional Facilitator for Broward County Public Schools, uh, also Chief Strategist for the Florida Scholastic Esports League. Uh, so very excited to be part of this. Uh, Steve, Kathy, I, Mike, uh, have had a chance to work together on a number of uh, Minecraft global challenges, and uh, I'm not going to pretend I'm not most excited about this one, so I hope no one takes offense to that <laughs> one. Uh, this is the most exciting one so far, and uh, we get to share in all that excitement today, so I'm thrilled. Amazing. So, like I said, we spent the better part of the fall uh, every two weeks um, giving the crowd a challenge. We saw tons of amazing work, um, and um, we have a bit of a sizzle reel. I like that term. We're going to show you some of the great work that we've had um, happen over the fall. 